and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing of the Paper Craft Society box number 23. This one was curated by Crafty Individuals and I did already open this box just to make it a little bit easier to show the contents. I basically just try to fit as much as possible in the folio and speaking of the folio, this is great for storage. It even has the spine labeled so you know the box number and the designer or the brand that has curated it. And the colors are beautiful. I picked this box up with, along with two others during the Black Friday sale um, because they normally go for, I think, is it $39.99 US? And then it dropped down to something like $16, $17. It was amazing. So um, when you open up your folio, you'll find there are three pockets. And um, normally they're not quite this full because some of the contents that I've managed to fit in here do come separately wrapped and uh, among the separately wrapped items are um, is this bottle of ink and I've seen other un unboxings and I believe it's sort of this magenta color so that's really cool this is a highly pigmented um, water base ink so this is gonna be really fun to play with so I'm excited to um, explore that one because I've never actually tried their inks before. We also got a very very generous supply of twine in two different colors so orange and white striped and then um, pink and white stripes so and there's a lot there's a lot on here I mean I don't know how it doesn't say how many um, yards or meters it is but I, I feel like that's quite a lot and then, as always, there is the um, booklet. I have noticed that um, it doesn't have that information card. I, I don't know if they've done away with that, but I don't I don't see that card that they generally have that has you know the little tips. But the booklet is really nice. I'll just quickly kind of fan through it. But what's nice about this is that there are a lot of different projects plus step-by-step -step instructions for how to create those projects. So if you see something that you like, there um, will be steps in here to describe how to actually recreate that project using the contents of this kit. And I don't know what comes with this particular box, but usually there is a link that is um, in the booklet that you can go to online and there will be extra downloadables that you can get. So in the past, what I've seen um, as downloadables are more of the pattern papers, the printed pattern papers that you get in the box. You can download those and print off more if you need them to complete your project. And I've seen templates for things like boxes and 3D makes as downloadables as well. So really worth it to, um, you know, go through this, find that URL and download those extra bits because in particular, if it does um, give you the downloads for the pattern paper, that's really handy to have just in case you're working on a larger project where you're going to need more sheets than what is provided in the kit. And that way you can always print off more so that you can complete your project. So speaking of papers, since we're here, let's um, go ahead and go through those. I, I like to take a close look at the booklet after I've had a chance to craft with the box. So um, we have this two sheets, and but these are not... Um, these are not cut aparts, so it's not perforated at all. Um, it's not pre-cut, so you can actually use it, sort of trim it down and use these individually as um, tiles, or you can even, if you were making, let's say, a slimline card, maybe you want to just trim down um, a set of three and then add an additional mat, and then boom, you've got <laughs> you've got a card. This is these are gorgeous panels. So that's really great. And my hope is that uh, maybe we get some stamped images that 
kind of echo um, some of what we're seeing in uh, these tiles because I always love looking to the pattern papers that are provided as inspiration for how to use some of the stamps and things um, in the kit. So so we'll see once we get to the stamps whether whether we've got something similar so that if there is something here that we love, you're not going to be able to necessarily recreate it, you know, pixel for pixel, but you will be able to create something maybe in a similar style. So really um, beautiful colors, very rich colors too. And then there are, let's see, four different pattern papers and you get two sheets each. These are A5 sheets, so it's half of an A4, which is similar to US letter size, which is eight and a half by 11. So this is kind of close to a five and a half by eight and a half. This is really nice. Um, you could, this is meant to be kind of cut in half here because it's two, two separate scenes. Um, but that's really beautiful. I mean, these are, these are your backgrounds right here. This looks, that tree looks upside down. I wonder, I think you can use this one. Maybe you can use that one in any orientation. Kind of cool. Yeah, these are beautiful. And then we have some solid color cardstock to match. So the pattern paper, I would say it's maybe 60 pounds. <clears throat> it's definitely more than just your copy paper. The solid color cardstock is white core, and I would gauge it at maybe 80 pounds. Um, but that's just a guess. I don't know for certain. And we got... Again, four different colors, two of each. And of course, these go beautifully with um, the printed pattern papers. So you can see the palette is um, gorgeous and that's a really striking color, that magenta. So those are our papers. And I'll go ahead and pull out this is sitting on top here, so we have an embossing folder that is um, a uh, leaves, so that's really pretty. And this is, I think, close to A2, probably, so half of an A5, yeah. So that'll give you your full um, A2 size card front. And then we've got... This has so much in this kit. It's it's amazing. Um, let me pull out. This is a stencil that gives you a lot of different landscape designs. So you've got um, soft rolling hills. You've got tr pine trees, um, other style of trees. Um, the little... Um, what are, what are they called? Those plants that grow by the ponds. Um, so you've got that, you've got some clouds, you've got mountains up here. So that's really nice for kind of creating your landscape or your backgrounds. And then we've got two stamp sets. Now, usually these kits just have the one stamp set, but here we're getting two. So... How amazing is that? We've got, um, and yeah, I am seeing a lot of uh, very similar imagery to this. So take, for example, these trees here. Uh, you've got those trees right here. So you can kind of, um, sort of, you know, if you like that look, you can almost recreate it. And again, oh, right there, you got the ducks. So we've got that. Um, these little branches, we've got that here as well. Um, that exact bird we've got right here. So we've got that bird. Um, lots of plants and foliage. We even have that tree stump. So you could recreate exactly this, this scene. Uh, well, not exactly, but, but you know, 
Oh, and there's the, the fern. I can see that on this stamp set here. So if you can see, there's two ferns in the background and we've got that there. There's some text back here and we've got a text block, which is, um, it's legible. It actually spells out autumn and the um, definition of autumn. So yeah, this is beautiful. You really, you really do get pretty much, um, you know, I think all of the imagery that you would need to kind of recreate something either similar, um, or, you know, uh, just based off of or, or um, inspired by some of these designs. And that's what I really love because sometimes you see, or at least for me, I won't speak for everybody, but sometimes I see um, stamp sets like these and I don't know exactly how to use them, where to start. And so by having some examples to be inspired by, I think is, is really awesome. So really, really great. So it looks like a lot of this is, um, you know, meant to kind of give you, um, more of that mixed media kind of, um, collage look of, you know, multiple layers, but we do get, do you get one sentiment here that says best wishes? Well, I guess two. This one says spread your wings and fly. Um, so cool. Really awesome. So then let's look at the dies that we get here. So we've got um, a word phrase die here. So for someone special, we have some foliage dies. So this, um, they both have some debossed detail. So you can see all of that, all of that metal there is gonna get pushed into your card and give it some really great texture. And then the main um, die here cuts out a frame with some um, uh, detailing here. So the outer, okay, the outermost, the largest die has an outside cutting edge but not an inside cutting edge so the center would be solid we get a separate die to cut out the aperture so if you wanted to create um, a frame you could do that or just create cut out a matte layer to put on top and then um, the next the third largest die will cut out an aperture that has some foliage and these um, plants here and um, so that would create like a really nice sort of silhouette um, frame almost. And then you've got the oval frame, similar to the rectangle one here in terms of that um, extra bit of detail. And also the fact that the, um, the larger of the two ovals has an outside cutting edge, but not a inside cutting edge. So that will cut out a solid oval for you. You can pair it with the separate um, inner aperture die to uh, create a frame or use the inner aperture die to create a matte layer to put on top. So that's those are some really nice basic shapes. Um, you've got, let's see the size of that outside. Uh, so that is four and one eighth, which is great. It's just shy of four and a quarter. So you'll have a little bit of a white edge showing and but this is, oh, it's greater than, so this is five and, uh, let's see, this is five and 13 sixteenths. Um, so this is probably more meant for a six size cards, I believe, um, which are it's slightly different dimension from an A2 size, but really cool. I, I really like that probably would fit on a five by seven as well. I'd have to, I'd have to try it to know for certain, but that's a really nice, um, die set. And look how much we're getting. We're getting a set of dies and embossing folder stencil, two sets of, um, stamps that are like the full A5 size stamps. So quite, quite amazing how much comes in this, in this kit. It's a different style than what I am used to, um, but it is something that I've been um, playing with more, wanting to do more of, is that sort of collage mixed media look of just layering um, 
and getting a lot of building up a lot of depth and a lot of imagery because I love seeing stuff like this. There's always something to kind of discover and explore. So that is box number 23 by Crafty Individual. Um, now when I craft with this kit, I will be certain to link to that video at the end of this one. Thanks so much for joining me and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.